Okay, so now we know a little bit about the cell membrane. And it's made up of these phospholipids. And there's the phosphate head. And here are the lipid tails. And the phosphate heads love water, H2O. And the lipid tails hate water. So they line up in this way here. Okay, but now, how do things get into the cell or out of the cell? Well, it depends on really two factors. Okay, let's erase that, that, and that. Okay, so let's say you have something out here. Let's say you have something out here outside the cell, and you have the same thing inside the cell okay now if these guys here and here if they are small and uncharged they can easily zip into the cell or zip out of the cell really, really easily. Okay? Because these guys are very small and uncharged. If, let's say over here, let's use a different color. Either these guys are really big Or, let's say they have a charge. And when something has a charge, it means they have either a positive sign, like this, or maybe they have a negative sign, like this. Okay, so if these guys are large, or charged, They cannot fit. Let's change the color on that. They will not be able to fit in between the phospholipids. They're large or they're charged. They can't easily enter. Or if they already exist in the cell, They can't easily exit the cell because they are either large or charged. Okay? So, quick little review. If the substances are small and uncharged, they can easily zip in, zip out, in between those phospholipids. We call this the phospholipid bilayer. The reason we call it the phospholipid bilayer is because it's made up of phospholipids, and there are two that make up the layer, like binoculars, bicycle. Binoculars you use with two eyes. Bicycle has two wheels. So the phospholipid bilayer is what is surrounding this entire cell. Okay? So again, if the substances are small and uncharged, they can easily go in, out, in, out, in between the phospholipids there, through the bilayer really easily. But if they are large or charged, so like these X's here are very large. These O negatives, these O positives are charged. They have a tougher time getting through the phospholipid bilayer. 
they're going to need some help. Okay?